What's up, everybody? Welcome to Unboxing the Vinyl. I'm your host, Tim Vinconi, and I like to pretend this is a real show. If you would, please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel below. That would be greatly appreciated. So let's get right to it. Today is June the 11th, 2021, which marks the release of Volume 3 of Def Leppard's Vinyl Collection, also available in a CD format. Uh, so to give you a little backstory, in 2018, Def Leppard released Volume 1, which was made up of their 80s material, their first four albums, as well as some um, B-sides, rarities, and live recordings. Volume 2 came out in 2019, which consisted of their 90s output, another four albums, as well as more rarities, more live stuff, B-sides, whatever. Uh, in 2020, they released a box set called The Early Years, which was centered around their first two albums, and you know some other live stuff and b-sides again you know that, that that came with those two albums so here we are 2021 now we have volume three which uh is made up of their early 2000s output uh which includes three albums as well as rarities b-sides live stuff whatever so let's get right to it so here's the box and i already took it out of the shrink wrap because i made it to make this video earlier and it was an epic fail um, so it's already, the shrink wrap's already been removed. So I'm going to try to make this a little bit shorter and just show you what's actually in the box set instead of going through everything. Uh, so first, um, here's a little sticker that was on the front, you know, and once again, let me just kind of show you, you know, here's the front of the box, you know, and here is the back of the box with the track listings for each, each record. So the first record in the set is their 2002 album X. Um, Let's see, the, from, from my knowledge, this is the first time this particular album is available on vinyl. Uh, so there's the front cover with just the X on there. It also, it's either, you know, it's either X or it's, you know, the Roman numeral for 10 because it was their 10th release. Uh, if you look at the back, there is a picture of the band. Um, and then we'll just take a quick look at the inside. You know, nothing too special here. Um, this album's pretty cool. It's a little more poppy than their normal stuff, if you can believe that. Uh, definitely some classics on here, like uh, Scar and Four Letter Word, very classic Def Leppard sound. The rest of it, it's good, but I could also hear the songs being sung by a boy band. You know, take that for what you will, but I actually do like this record a lot. So that's record number one. Record number two in the set would be their 2006 covers album, Yeah, uh, which has covers of Kink songs, Dan Lizzy songs, Faces songs. Uh, T-Rex songs, uh, Badfinger, so on and so forth. Uh, so again, there's a cover. There's the back. Again, this is the first time this one is available on vinyl as well. If you open it up, uh, it's just a picture of the band. And let's just see. You know, and if I pull one of the records out, it just has, you know, the track listing, you know, who the original artists were, and just some stories about why they went back and redid some of these songs. And the cool thing about this covers record is it isn't your standard cover covers fair where they just cover like big hits you know and try to put their spin on everything uh they actually went back and covered a lot of tunes from the glam era of the 70s in europe and england uh which is why you hear you know a lot of the artists being covered that you that you do and i would say for the most part you know it sounds like def leppard but at the same time they didn't try to go and like rewrite people's songs you know they, they pretty much did them pretty standard for the most part which i think was really cool but it really just harkens back to their early influences um, you know, and there's a lot of cool tunes on here. It starts off with 20, 20th Century Boy, the old T-Rex tune. Uh, it goes right into Rock On, the David Essex tune. Um, and then Hanging on the Telephone. And then a really cool version of Waterloo Sunset uh, from the Kinks, which is really cool. And then it just goes on. You know, there's a cover of a free tune on here and some of the other artists I mentioned earlier. So, cool. Very cool. First time available on vinyl. Uh, in this box set and individually on Amazon if you just want to buy the individual records. But Def Leppard's, yeah. All right, moving right along. <clears throat> Next is the 2008 Songs from the Sparkle Lounge. Um, again, first time available on vinyl. Here's the front cover. Looks a lot like a take on Sgt. Pepper's. Uh, and there's all sorts of people in there. And I think Def Leppard, there's, you know, random pictures of them all through the crowd here. Uh, so that's really cool. So there's the front. Here's the back. You know, I'll just go ahead and pop out the sleeve real quick. You know, just pretty basic. Like I said, the records in here, they're just your standard black, 180 grams, nothing special. So I don't need to pull all those out. Um, as far as this album is concerned, I will say this is probably, and maybe I need to give it another chance and I'll have that opportunity now that I have it on vinyl. I don't listen to this record a whole lot. Um, it's probably the one I go to the least from the Def Leppard catalog. Uh, and, 
you know, like I said, it's, I, maybe I need to go back and revisit it. I just kind of feel like the album to me feels unfinished. A lot of the songs feel like they just needed something extra. Uh, it just feels kind of like an unfinished album. However, I will say that they did a lot of the influence from the tunes that they did on the covers album. I uh, came through on here. This is very much influenced by a lot of the glam and, you know, different things that were going on, uh, you know, when they were kids in the 70s listening to, you know, David Bowie and, you know, uh, T-Rex and, you know, and the likes. So a lot of that influence does come through on this record. Uh, the lead single is a song called Nine Lives, which featured Tim McGraw. Uh, and it's the most pretty much standard by the numbers Def Leppard tune you could imagine. Um, and all cheesed up with Tim McGraw on it. But beyond that, the rest of the album actually does harken back to their early influences. Again, maybe I need to revisit it. I just didn't get into it that much at the time. And it's one that I go back to probably less than any other Def Leppard record. But give it a shot. You might like it. You may like it. All right. So that takes care of the three standard studio records that are in this box set. Now we're going to get to the rarities and, you know, other things. So the first thing we're going to pull out is the record simply entitled B-Sides. It uh, looks a lot, a lot like the cover to X, except instead of an X, it's a B, which is kind of cool. Pretty basic. If you look on the back, it looks like, you know, a pretty basic black and white, almost drawn picture of the band with the track listing. Uh, there's no gatefold, and there's nothing really special about the inserts here. Uh, but let's see. It's got some radio edits of a few songs from uh, the X album, as well as a version of that Nine Live song I was talking about. But this time with Joe Elliott by himself, no Tim McGraw, which I think makes the song a little bit better. Nothing against Tim McGraw, I just thought it was kind of cheesy at the time. Um, and then it's got some tunes like Kiss Today, which I think was a B-side, or available on the Japanese edition of X, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, also, Ten Times Bigger Than Love, which was a cool song. Um, Give Me a Job. And then some other tunes like Perfect Girl, uh, which was an original version of one of the songs on X. I'm not sure which one right now. Uh, but anyway, you know, that's really cool. Check that out. All right. So we'll just put that down here and we'll move right along. Next, we have Yeah 2. Um, so I guess when they were making the Yeah album, they recorded a buttload of covers other than the 14 or 15 that were on the original album. And I remember when the original album came out, you had the, you had the regular CD with 14 or 15 tracks, and then there was a bonus Yeah CD I don't remember if you were able to buy that at stores, if you had to order it, or you know how, how I ended up with it, but it was an extra CD with like four or five extra covers. Those songs are on here along with a bunch of other ones. Uh, this is another two record set. Um, so yeah, they were able to make a completely uh, separate uh, sequel to their Yeah record with the stuff that they had left over, I assume. Uh, so there's the front cover of Yeah 2. Back cover with a picture of the band. Uh, inside. Pictures of the band members. And then, of course, if I pull one of the sleeves out just to kind of take a look, nothing special. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's see. Let's, let's uh, see if we can get the record back in here without destroying it. All right. Here we go. All right. So let's see. What do we have on here? We have a version of You Can't Always Get What You Want, which I think is all acoustic. Uh, they cover Jimi Hendrix's Little Wing. They do like three David Bowie songs on here. Ziggy Stardust, Rebel Rebel, which is a pretty cool cover, and then Space Oddity. Uh, they also cover Roxanne. They cover Under My Wheels from Alice Cooper. They also cover Tom Petty's American Girl. And uh, there's a separate version of Stay With Me, which is an old Rod Stewart and the Faces tune. Um, I know one of them has Phil Collin on vocals, and maybe the other has Joe Elliott. I don't remember. Um... But yeah, you know, still really cool. And like I said, the four or five of the songs that are on this were part of that bonus CD that you could buy back in 2006. But it's really cool that they got everything on here. Um, and like I said, Def Leppard has spared no expense uh, as far as the packaging for all this. I mean, all this is available on vinyl for the first time. It's all really high quality, really top-notch stuff. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the three main records, the, the studio records, the three main studio records, are all available individually on iTunes as of today in vinyl in case you don't want to buy the whole set. But uh, I think the last record in here, uh, stay, sticking with the Yeah theme, uh, is Yeah Live. Uh, so what this is, is a record with eight live tracks of them performing covers. Uh, some from the Yeah album and a couple other covers that actually weren't on either one of the Yeah volumes. So there's the front cover, there's the back cover. I think this one does have a sleeve inside. The Def Leppard logo. And then pictures, I assume, from the 2006 tour. 
Uh, so that's really cool. And this is kind of a mishmash of different things because I know Elected, uh, which is the cover of the old Alice Cooper tune, uh, that is from, I think, the Hysteria Tour, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then they go in, you know, to Action, uh, Bad, Bad Fingers No Matter What, uh, David Essex is Rock On. And then on the flip side, they play Traveling Band, Now I'm Here, 20th Century Boy, the old T-Rex tune, and that they have Brian May from Queen get joining with, joining with them. And then they the last song is a cover of All the Young Dudes by Mott the Hoople, and they actually bring out Ian Hunter from Mott the Hoople to sing that with them, so that's pretty cool. So, you know, that covers all the records in here, but the last thing I'll say about the records is... You know, if you're somebody that doesn't collect vinyl or whatever, um, or just wanted to see what was in this box set, and you have all the individual albums and you don't feel the need to go buy those again, uh, on iTunes, there actually is a uh, an album or a set that you can buy on there that is these three records, the, the three bonus, uh, re the three albums of bonus material. Um, these, All three of these are available on a set on iTunes for like 20 bucks. Uh, that you can find on there so you can get all the bonus material and listen to it without having to go through and buy the entire box set i'm sure that's probably also available on spotify and the other streaming services um you know so check that out you know if you don't want to buy the box set you don't need additional copies of cds or records or whatever but you want to hear all the bonus footage you know go check that out so that's really cool last thing in the box set uh is the book uh so far all three box sets have had a book this one is no different uh, the cover is the same with the Def Leppard logo and covers of the albums that are covered in the book. Uh, so we're not going to have story time with Tim right now. I'll just kind of open it up, you know, just, just a couple things here, if I can. <laughs> and where's, uh, where's the dude from Reading Rainbow when you need him? Uh, LeVar Burton. Uh, you know, you just open it up, you know, first thing is with the Def Leppard logo and then it goes right into X. Uh, and then, you know, it has stories about, you know, when the album was made, it's got some pictures, it's got liner notes and everything for every album, uh, included in the set, uh, the regular studio albums, as well as the bonus, uh, material. So that's really cool, you know? All right. So that's pretty much everything that's in the box set, you know? So once again, there's the front, there's the back with the track listing for every album in the set. So this is really cool. This is really cool. When I saw this was going to be released a month or a month and a half or so ago, uh, I was really excited because I'm a big vinyl collector. Um, I have the other two box sets, and I was really excited to have some of these albums on vinyl. So I'm assuming, from what I understand, this is supposed to be a four volume set. Um, so I'm ima I imagine that next year we'll see volume four, and I'm kind of curious to see what's going to be in volume four because. In the 2000s, they only released one studio album. That would be 2015 self-titled record. And then they produced three studio tracks on a live album called Mirrorball. So I'm curious to see what's going to be in volume four. Is it just going to be that one studio record and the myriad of live albums they released in the 2000s? Um, you know, they have like the Hysteria live thing. and I think they have two or three Vegas ones. They have one live album from Detroit. They have the aforementioned Mirrorball. Um, and you know other things so all their output in the 2000s was one studio record and then a whole bunch of live stuff so I don't know if that's what box set four is going to consist of or if you know I've been reading rumors lately uh, that they actually have written some material for a new album so is it possible maybe they'll have a new album finished before then and that'll be included in box set four along with everything else but I do know once the fourth box set is out there that's supposed to complete uh, the collection and everything available from Def Leppard is supposed to be, you know, out on vinyl at that point. So we'll see. We'll talk about that next year. That's all I've got for today. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, like and share it below. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. I've got a lot of unboxing videos, including several for Def Leppard. Uh, I've also got my Inside the Vinyl series, which includes the Lost Classics, as well as my live album series. Uh, I've also got some concert footage from some festivals. Uh, Exit 111, Welcome to Rockville. I've got some coverage of a KISS concert I went to a couple years ago. Uh, and, you know, various other things. And if you like crappy disc golf videos, I've got a few of those too. So, uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you next time. Peace out. Get in that pool. Get in that pool. Get in there.